All right, well, it's 10.28 in the morning, July 21st, 2012, and I'm gonna embark on a hike to Grail's cabin. It's now 10.38 in the morning, taking a little breather, my pack feels like it's about 100 kilograms or so. Yeah, it's going to be a long day. So it's now 12.17 p.m., um, about an hour and a half in or so maybe. Um, there's a lot of bugs, um, including mosquitoes, a lot of flies, and I'm definitely glad I brought my bug spray. I find that it's the trail, it actually like has a bunch of different types of terrain that it follows, and the trail will go right onto the beach, and um, yeah, so it's really cool. Um, not that tired actually as I thought I'd be. So that's also a good thing, and yeah, keep it on going. I believe that this is bear dung. So it's now uh, 2.56 p.m. and after what seemed like too, too long, I've made it to Sandy Beach and I've come this far. So that's a good thing. Not too much farther to growls. And you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna go swimming. <laughs> well, I'm off again. Uh, I've set up camp back there and I have, as you can see, a bit less of a load with me. So hopefully it's gonna go faster now. You know, this trip to Growls is more than a hike. Like, it's cool to see the place that Growl lived and, you know, where where he carried out his, uh, his conservation and where he wrote his books. And I think it's, I think it's cool that he chose to live out what he believed. It's pretty funny that uh, he lived with a beaver and even his wife couldn't stand the beaver, so he had to build her another cabin. Um, coming out here, getting to see this awesome sunset, amazing scenery, um, finding a beach that no one else is at and uh, just swimming, you know. <laughs> it's just a sweet experience and I'm just so happy I came out to Grey Owls. And with this water, I'm finished. Grey Owls cabin, 40 kilometers. I'm so tired. The very last of my water.